Just got done building a few set of headers at Stainless Works. They're going to be for a giveaway, so pay attention to Stainless Works. Maybe you could be the lucky one to get them. How I got into racing was my brother come back from the Gulf War and bought a, yeah, it was this 1970 Camaro. He called me and said, hey, can you come look at this car with me? And I'm like, yeah. My, my brother drove it up the road and he turned around. He goes, you want to drive it? I got in that son of a bitch. I dumped the clutch and let her fly. And I was like, hell yeah, you got to buy this thing. We were at the track shortly after he bought it and that, I was hooked from there. My first car was a 74 Nova hatchback, and that was gonna be my race car, but you know, I had, a, had kids and bought a house. And so after we bought the house, I bought an 85 IROC Z, and we loved it. It was awesome to drive, and I thought it was fast. You know, it was 305 tune port, and that was the first car I ever cut up. I put big tires under it. My wife drove it to work with big tires under it, a ratchet shifter. And, um, that was my first race car. I met Sean and Chief back in, I think it was 08. My very first drag week, I actually met them. Um, they were at Muncie, Indiana with the Nova, and that's the first time Jeffrey and I met them. They were big boys back then, and I, I remember seeing Sean get out of that car, and I thought, Jesus Christ, how did he get into that car? Ever since then, you know, I, I've always known them, and when the show, when the show started, uh, Chief needed help with the Crow. And I flew out there and the rest was history, you know, and that's how we got, got with Sean and Chief on the show. So since I won Drag Week twice, I lowered the average pretty low and I thought I would be done and I was gonna ride shotgun with Jeffrey and get his Honda to the, you know, to the head of the pack. But I got a, a special project I'm working on this year and I wanna lower that average even more and it won't be with the Camaro, so stay tuned on that one. For me, there's no other option, you know. And there's plenty of products out there. I don't think they're as good as Stainless Works. We use Stainless Works because um, I've never had headers break, crack. You know, when we're at the racetrack and we were racing full time, that's all I ever did because everybody knew I had a welder and I was always welding their headers up. And I was confused on why they're always cracking. And we got thousands of miles on our stuff and they're not cracking. So um, that's a testament to the product, you know, and the stainless that they use. I wouldn't use anything else. I like the slip collectors now. I used to get into welding them all together, but man, I love the slip collectors now. You can MIG weld headers, but not stainless headers. It's just not a nice looking weld. Um, to get the welds the way we do, you have to do it with a TIG welder. There's no other way to do stainless, in my eyes. I'm sure there's people that are watching the video and go, oh, I can MIG weld a set of headers. You can, but they're not gonna look as nice as a TIG welded set of headers. You, you want to go there? Let's do it, let's do it. Um, back purging. You know, there's people that do it, 
and there's high school kids that do it. There's college kids that went to school to do it. I've never done it. I've never seen a reason to do it. So if you don't back purge, so be it. You know, if you do back purge, f you. <laughs> <laughs> How's that?